guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Back out today, good mate, Artie Reenstra. We just shot out the front here. We're at the mouth of the pine, just under the Hornybrook Highway at the moment. Had a quick dabble for snapper out there, but that westerly sort of kicks up once you get a K or so out. It's a little rough, no love, one little brim. But yeah, we're just gonna work our way out the pine. We're gonna hit these uh, pylons. Just throw a crank of crabs, brim prawns, gold crappies, all that sort of stuff. And then yeah, get up top of the system. We've got uh, an hour or two before the bottom of the tide. And then uh, get a bit of incoming. Yeah, just gonna have a brim sesh. It's been a while, should be good fun. Here we go. Drop him, Marty. Got him that time. Good fish. Yeah, they're all right here at the minute because it is morning season. You wouldn't say no. First thing in the morning in your bag. Fatty. Fatty little guy. Fat. Rim corn muncher. Nice start. Fish art. Oh, might be a trevally or a really nice brim. It's like a horse brim, dude. Yeah, he's a nice brim. Good brim. Yeah. Well, I was sitting down dealing with stupid bloody GoPros. <laughs> yep, you could have this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a net on board today? I do, yeah. It's all right, I won't him. Decent scorer for the morning. He's a fat guy, and hard. So he's probably 30 overall, maybe just over. Throwing that little BP 50, sort of 140th hidden weight. It's just a savage gear for Nez, seven foot three, one to three kilo. Six pound sunline on this one, six pound snow leopard leader. You know, Stratic CI4. Snow leopard. Snow leopard, Ooh. mate. What a name. They gave me, they're, they're bloody on the front of the box, it says, set your fing claw. Oh, that's cool. It's like Asian y looking, I don't know, it's weird. Snow leopard, I love it. Old mate from Lewis is bringing it in. Whoa! <laughs> Your rescue's not there, Artie. No, no. I don't know why. Come on, I am deep under there. Oh, don't be. Oh, it's a fish. I thought I was on something. Little fella. That was way deep under there. Oh, that's a target species. This little guy on the brim prawn. He always love a brim prawn. I'm surprised how clean it is for the run out after all the bloody rain we've had. I might throw that heavy one eighth back through that, see if there's anything down there. Oh, there he is. <gasps> oh, that oh, how did that not get him? Hook at him! Light ish drag, didn't get a good hook set, but man, I can't go too much harder on it. I'd say that was a good flathead, Artie. Yep. There's the flathead. No, maybe not. No, it's a good brimbo. <laughs> Ah! Oh, you kidding, are you?
play deep down in a deep water bend. It's gonna fish deep for a little while. It's the last of this run out tide. Slow down, it's a nice little drift. Try around these pylons. It's gonna keep fishing that one eight down. It's that little egg zone drop shot. Little finesse slammer. And then yeah, we'll shoot up the top with this incoming and hit all the natural structures. So that's the plan. Just those baits I'm running, little egg zone. It's a finesse slammer. This car is bag limit. Get my bag limit. You on? Yeah. Oh, decent flatty. He's a 50, 55er. Yeah, he's alright. He just didn't know he's hooked yet. Nah, he's come swimming up. Nice piney flathead. Really want to touch him. Oh, you want a thumb grip him, Artie? You want me a thumb grip him? You get chewed on, but. Looks flatty on the brim prawn. It's off the bridge. idea of having a little heavier weight to drop in some of the deep water every now and then. No, no, no it's a good idea. All right. Oh! A flathead? Sick! <laughs> uh, by the way you're doing that. As I went to burn it up. Nah. Little Trevally, that's why. Ah, that's what's on the stand up. Yeah. As soon as I gave it some speed. Just a little GT on that X zone. As soon as I started to burn it up. Here's a f oh, Hardy. Oh yeah, there you go. Wake up. Chewing on it for half an hour. All right. Oh, there's brims on the walls, Art. Mm. And I got two cranker crabs to donate. I feel like they um, they never last to the point. I bought all those spare hooks years ago. Yeah, right. And not once have I put spare hooks on anything because they get destroyed and then something eats it and you get smoked. <laughs> yeah, I'll crank a crab eater. Yeah, man. Oh, Artie. Cod, brim. It's all brown, it's that colored water. Oh, what's following it? Did you see this thing following it? There was something larger behind that thing. <laughs> He's got a festy on him. Wow. You like that? Dude, that thing is. Yeah. Major festy. Poor fella. Major crusty, festy. Still, doesn't seem to affect him too much. No. Still happy to eat. All right, it's gone to the gulp crabby, two and a half inch. I got like three or four of them left. Hard to come by at the moment. I don't even own like the old school cool shit, all the little drop shot minnows and, and the moldy cheese. Moldy cheese was the bomb. Ah, discontinued. Surely the income and the flip yeah, the switch gets flipped. Just about to do that. <laughs> oh that no, that's <laughs> bad timing. <laughs> that you on there. That's on your um. On the pepper prawn. prawn. Has he chewed that off too? And he's back out. Man, he chewed it. He got it down. Down the hatch. Alright, champ. Alright, alright, alright. Cam you know, have a camo call. And I got a massive. 
Look at this poor crabby. Looks like a bug now. He does, he's a bug. It's running the new gulp crabby bug. Just starting to go. Oh man, they are starting to chew because I am getting rattled. A little bit tighter, man. Drive that hook home. Literally, it's just. Oh, here we go. They have just come on, man. Five, literally, it's just. What about this, man? What a bit It is a bass! <laughs> no way! I thought it was a bass. After we just said we've never caught a bass down here. One, two. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's, That's crazy, man. That's what I said. Have we ever caught a bass? I thought now would be the time. You think all those floods and bloody right. coming into winter. <laughs> there you go. On the bloody poo nut. Look at that. Bass on the chewed up gulp crabby, the little poo nut. Check that out, a little Aussie bass coming down the pine. All that flood recently, coming into winter, they you know, get the urge to come down to the salt with the brackish. How's that? Nice fat little bass. On the brim gear, it's on that crabby that's chewed to bits. Was do I change the poo nut or do I keep it going? Got him. You got it up. Flathead. Nice lizard, I think. Yeah. It's smaller than the last one, but he's not bad. All of a sudden, fish are playing the game. Oh, the hook come yeah. out. Another nice flathead. It's off. Let's try one of these. A elite lure, lethal tusk. I'll give that a go, Art. That's cool. A little rubber. Crustacean thing. Some water pumping out of there, eh? Oh, I just got done off the tree. Arty! I thought I heard drag going. I'm looking back there. Well, at least you lived up to your reputation. Oh man, I got us what I it's just did. There's always something in here that can do ya. There is always something in here that can do ya. There's definitely that. No, I didn't get where I wanted to go. Dude, he did you, man. Yep. Well done. Oh! That was a good one, too. Oh, dude. <laughs> man. I think ate it. An elite little lethal task, little three inch, like a Laztec stretchy stretch material thing. There's not really enough current to drift it right in there yet either. Slowly going that way. Oh, dude, he had it for how long? Oh, dude. He had that thing <laughs> so long. Oh, he's got mates, little mate. Oh, doubles. Yep. There's a heap in there, Art. Yeah, the snags are just falling at the moment. start of the income. As soon as that tide turned, eh? Hey? That's crazy. How good is it? Doubles. I'm on. Art's on. <laughs> yes, now it's a pine session. That's a pine session. Nice double like that. How good is that? Oh yeah! I thought I was gonna pop him, man. He's good. Double hookup. It's all started happening since the start of the incoming tide. It's been great. So good. 
good fun. There you go, that's a nice brim. 30 forker, nice and fat. Just ate that elite lure's lethal tusk. Just a little crayfish, yabby, little creature bait. So cool. I'll take that. Double hookups, man. How cool. All it took was that turn of the tide. It's a whole other big bank slip too, isn't it? Oh, what was that? He's still there. Was that a jack or a trevally? Oof, it was a 50s. Oh, Artie. Artie, back off if you have to. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right. You don't got him out. I don't think you got him out. No, I don't think I do either. All right, we'll drive in there for you, yep. please. It's just a bream, I think. But it might be a bass. Let's take it easy on him. It's just there. It's just in the spindly stuff. He's not huge. Oh, he's a he bass. just got off. He just got off. It was a bass, eh? Was it? I it thought like it was. a bass. Yeah, it was a bass. That's on now. I just missed me losing a big fish. Artie's just hooked up. I just changed the battery on the camera. I didn't have the bloody thing on. Did we do anything? No, I'm fine. He's just come out in the middle now. So I think it's a nice. I just missed a bloody good fish on that snag. Artie's just hooked up. Bass. Yeah, dude, the bloody bass have come down with the floods. Wow, that is so Man, cool. we've never caught bass in the pine, eh? Never, ever, ever have I caught fish. Dude, that's like a 50. That's a chunk, man. We'll put that on the mat. That's so cool. He just looks so long in that net. 42 he is, yeah. Good fish. Alright, let's get him back. Crazy. A few cool. bass made their way down here. Brimming bass on the same snags, man. It's crazy. Well, it's not. It actually happens, but it's crazy to experience it. Yeah. Pound lead here running. Yeah, I want six, man. It's like, it's not exactly what you'd be throwing a target bass. I reckon there'll be something in there, Art. Good brim, brim snag, man. Yep. Nice work. Oh, come out of there. Good brimbo. Oh, stay out of there. He's trying to get me back in there, Artie. I had my crabby up the line. He's shaking his head. He's not happy. Yeah, see, they get a ready looking tinge to him, eh? Nice. Right. He's got some weight to throw around, eh? I told you the brim snag, Artie. Dude, he's a chunk, man. He's a solid fish. I got it in my hand. Yes, Artie. Dude, that holy shit. Dude, that is a proper Pine River brim. Oh wow, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, that was an epic eat too, it was cool. Dude, he's a chunk! Artie. Awesome. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Why'd you have to do that for, buddy? Spike me. It's all happening, man. All happening. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a 35 forker. 39 overall, if you're into that kind of inclined. Oh, the hook came out too. <laughs> At that for a brim. <laughs> That's a proper one. That's the sort of brim you chase, man. Natural structure. Like, yeah, I like, you know, hitting man-made stuff, but there's something about pulling them out of natural, man. It's just really cool. A bit more of a challenge to it.
Man, that was insane. That was a big brim. It's crazy cool. Like we had those massive floods all summer. There's definitely bass that come down. Um, you know, there's a dam at the top of pretty much every river. So they push out, spillways let them go. There's been a couple of lakes and flooded dam areas on the floodplains that they can, they can come out of. But we're not targeting the bass. It's obviously closed season in tidal waters. Um, chasing brim, you saw the size of that brim. If I had to put the rod down after the first bass, I probably wouldn't have caught that. But yeah, it's just epic, man. It's a fat session. And we've got a bail. We've got like about an hour left max. So it's just power fish now. Hit the likely looking structure. Just keep keep the session going. <laughs> yes, RD. Mate. Fucking. <sighs> That's sick, man. What's he done to mine? Oh, the lure was halfway up the line. Look at that. Big dead lungfish. Massive lungfish. Big Neo Ceratidus, mate. That thing's huge, eh? Tide's come in a bit. Yep. Did your trick on the burnout and paused it. <laughs> yes. What do we got? <gasps> no! Just pulled out of him. No. Really? <laughs> Why? Why do you do these things to me? Get up there. Dude. Oh, it just got done, bro. <laughs> what was that on? Where was that? How was that? <laughs> Dude. Six pound life. <laughs> Big head shake. Yeah, it just went. Yeah, just like massive head shake straight up. Just busted you with the fucking initial burst. <laughs> what a session, though, man. Yeah, so cool. Yep. I'm on. You're on. You're on. Rimbo. Rimbo. Uh, <laughs> that was cool was that? We both saw the line going. Oh, mate. Uh, uh, yeah, you're on. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good one, too. Don't fish the pine, people. Yeah, you won't like it. Dude, he's another quality brim. Yeah, he's a good fish. He's no giant, giant, but... Still a good one. He's a proper Pine River specimen, though. Yeah, he's another proper Pine Dog, that guy. Yeah, man, he's, um... He's not the prettiest of brim. No, another quality Pine River brim. It's a good fish. Just lost a good fish, pulled the hooks on it, busted off by another, and then get that thing. So cool. And <laughs> we have to go home, Artie. Oh, Artie. Back that off. What was that? It came out of nowhere. No. It's another bass. You're kidding, are you? You were just burning that out of there. No, I just cast it in there and it was just fresh cast on a brim pool, man. Just changed to a brim pool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. Man, it's been a pretty cool session today. Just catching heaps of fish, having fun with a mate, you know. It's just throwing the lure in and accurate casts are being rewarded. It's just what we want. Beautiful. Good fun. Another 40 plus bass. Target and brim and you know all the saltwater species, we can't help these guys that are around. It's just good fun. We'll get him back, he'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> sick. That's cool. Alright, can I get one more brim? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh don't get on the stick. Oh I'm on! <laughs> I thought it bumped the stick. 
I thought it bumped the damn stick. I know, we've got to leave them biting, man. It's only losers that say they went home and leave them biting. Is it a brim or a bass? Oh, it's a... What is it? It is a bass. Yeah, we better leave these boys alone. They've just moved into every snag now. This is our brim. I know, that's the wheel of double hookup on. Half an hour ago. Dude, it hit, like, I thought it brushed the timber, like just clicked it. This guy looks a bit more worse for wear. Wow. Look at that. Another bass is eating the gold crabby, eating the brim baits. This guy's definitely carrying a few wounds like some of those brim have been. Not the prettiest of fish, but surprising. Getting them mixed up with the brim, it's pretty cool. Let's go home. It's only losers that say they went home and leave them biting.